Mate, mate, and you looked at the guys across the plane, and it came home to us that this was the reality of Vietnam. We were almost there, and we realized probably for the first time that not everybody on this aircraft was going to go home alive. It was it was probably the most frightening moment that we had all encountered up to that point. We flew south until we came into the approaches to Saigon. We could see the broad Mekong River coming down past the Saigon and headed for the South China Sea. And then the bottom fell out of the aircraft and we were wing up and wing down and jerking around and the pilot came on he says, sorry ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're just trying to make sure we don't get hit by any ground fire. <laughs> And thus we arrived in, at Tan Sanut Air Base outside of Saigon. And they opened the doors to the plane, and we encountered Vietnam for the first time as this wave of heat and humidity and the most god-awful smells you ever imagined. It was the smell of raw sewage and rotting vegetation. I looked over to my right and realized that it wasn't Frank, in fact, Frank on that litter and that we were not going to be able to save him. And his name is down there on panel 15W. After Frank died, I didn't particularly want to come home again. So I volunteered for an extra six months in country. Normally they didn't like us to stay more than the year that we were assigned from the beginning because it was so rough uh, physically and emotionally but they were short of operating room nurses and they agreed to let me stay. And I was telling myself that the reason I wanted to stay was because with my experience I was giving the guys a better chance of making it when they came to my hospital. But I'm not sure that I was being really honest with myself. Uh, in May of, of 1970 I went up to the 45th Surge Hospital at Tay Ninh, better known as Rocket City. And I was there until September of 1970 when we finally closed the hospital down at the beginning of the drawdown. And I finished out my tour at the 93rd EVAC in Long Bin. I returned home from Vietnam in December of 1970, actually on the 19th of December 1970. And on the 26th of December that same year, my first family function was to 